in it, right? Kong head is done. Um, bit of information for you as well. This build is quite am it's actually not an amateur build. It's more of a qualified to expert type of build. But as you can see, it is absolutely phenomenal. I have had it out and test. I haven't recorded it because one, I didn't go anywhere special, and secondly, it was just in the back garden. So. That in my eyes, as everybody knows, is not a good way of testing and getting reviews. So the reviews are that I'm going to give you my heads up, my likes and my cons of this. And first of all, let's get on with the likes. Right, what I like about it is the shell is absolutely detailed. I love the way that the stacks actually do tilt. They don't, they're not straight, if you notice. They've got a bit of a tilt on that gives it a bit of... Um, of image look um, you have to paint the tube inlets I used in rubber X rubber and Tommy pot paint and then semi gloss over the top to give it more of a, a rip visual of rubber than being more than just cream everywhere um, the the cream I use is by a company called FTX and it is called if you after this call yourself Word of advice, it is very, you put it on very light coats, you think it's not going on, but it is actually going on. I find that I do the, the heat gun method, works much better, it, it completely freezes, it stops it from, it does very well of being very fine, it, it runs like water. The company I use is Fast Finish, and it's spray colour by a company called CML. Literally everything in England is either distributed or sold through CML. FTX fast tracks and the number for the chrome is 283 and it is pure chrome is absolutely gorgeous I'm going to some of the tip you know it even looks nice on the tip so it is really they're not cheap I think it's about 13 pound a ten but you only need a bit um just didn't like the semi gloss yeah. uh, the semi silver which is here yeah, some people like it. To me, it's just too bland. It's too basic. So I prefer to customise, which you better know for anyway. Um, let's have a look at this one then. Right. The tyres, I've made my own inserts. I use um, foam, which is actually this foam. I use this foam here. And what I do, I'll actually find out where the dead sensor is roll it and you'd be surprised that this can actually make these lovely inserts my actual pumpkin has one as well the other one with pumpkin so i know that they work quite well it does give a bit of bounce the shocks are well they're a bit hard to tell the truth but hopefully they'll wear off in a bit of time when you get a bit more use like when we take off road um it's going the beach this i know people say oh you get a wg drive shafts well that's why I believe in maintenance. Um, every car, even for me, I thought it's been standard for ages, got a maintenance. So, yeah, I get around to it eventually. Um, what I'm running through this, if this helps you out, I don't know if it will, like, but it helped me out. I decided that I didn't want to use my GT3, but this being the first edition, I want to give it a bit of bling. Yeah, you can see how I've done it very quick inside. Um, got my logo on the air intakes, K&N, and obviously RCM, and I've also got my thingy on it, so, yeah, I haven't finished with that yet, I've still got a bit of work to do on it. This is inside it, <coughs> Basic compartment can take up to a really good um, flat pack, battery pack, I'm using a G, is it a Reedy I'm using, I can't remember now. I'm actually using a Reedy um, 4950C, so they work great with this, they don't seem to have any trouble, so I'm happy putting these ones on. Um, this battery really runs well with the actual Redo gear that I'm using, which is my Cobro Pope. Which is donated to me by a lovely friend that I no longer hear from, which is quite sad because you meet your friends, you think they last forever, but sometimes they just want to move on. 
Um, I'm using this with this because it's obviously a new one. The only problem is I've only got to touch it like that and it, it's off, it's gone. I might have to adjust it back one, which is you slacken them two screws off and you move it back a bit and that moves the trigger. It's like the impulse. There's two there at the moment and when I put my finger on it it'll just work. We have the example for you. Um, it comes on. Lovely unit, I really do like it. Um, I've been, I've done a couple of club races with it, and I feel it feels totally usual. The server I'm using is a Hobby. Is it Hobby Tower? Tower Hobby? No, it is a Tower Hobby. It's an MG nine nine six R. I get like, I get them in bulk for like a tenner. Um, friend I've got down south will always sort me with loads of them. So. I don't care if people go, Is it cheap? They fell around, they fall apart. Well, for nine quid, I can get these, can't I? And out of nine, I could end up with four, I could have two good ones. So, even the big manufacturers, you know, make mistakes. I was on Wish.com the other day and I seen a Savox. I was like, Well, wait a minute, Savox don't really. I know they come from China, but I can't see them being on there. And when I'd done my information with him, um, he said that, Oh, no, we, we sell through wish.com and they're like eight quid there you go go with wish.com if a final link i'll put in but i think they've gone up since the sale right i'm not gonna stick it on the floor and go fast and spin it's these ties cost 27 pound a pair i don't want to be blunting them off on that type of ground so you've been told don't ask me yet to do an inside run i'm not gonna do one I've got decals on the chassis, as you can see. I think it just really gives it a bit of help. But you see, that's how heavy and hard this little thing is. Right, that's just touching it, see? That's the problem we've got. them 14 cogs all driving and pushing now people said to me that's the round rear end yes but you get it with it if you read carefully it does state that you can actually fit this as an alternative to the TLO one standard plastic ugly bumper so I thought well you know what I'm like I might probably go brushless with it it's gonna need a bit of help and it, apparently this can climb 40 degrees so it's going to have to go to Delamere to be tested. My mate Steve, Steve asked me if I was going to do the four-wheel steer conversion. My to the later date, Steve. I'm not going to pass around with it just yet. I want to try and get my use out of it to get the feel of it, find its weaknesses. The shock oil is a, I think it's a 30 or a 4, 35 or a 40. And yeah, they are a bit, they're a bit on the hard side, but I can feel them slacking off after the second one, so it must be. They're not leaking or anything. Um, next thing to do is get the aluminium uprights so I can have all them done. Um, I've already sorted out other things I've got on my head that I'm going to do. I've just got a matter of doing it. Now the only thing is, I was thinking about this. Now this one's a 5 volt salt. So I was thinking maybe putting my GT3 RX back in and running it off that. So I don't really want to damage this. But after a little talk to people, I found a way I can make a little sealed box for it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a sealed box. Um, I'm running Hobby King Quick Run Schumacher branded electronic speed controller, which is the W1060P, I think. And this is, a, you, you've just seen yourself, it doesn't exactly come with. It's got a lot of power, but I like about these, you can slow them right down here like a crawler. So. Uh, Build quality, yeah, fantastic. So simple. I, the only thing I had trouble with was putting these little plastic grommets that have got a half a shaft in, and you have to stick them inside and push that way with the grease on. So in the end, I just greased them up, and ended up gluing them in because they're never going to come out again. Um, the motor I'm running is my famous 15 turn HPI racing. Um, five is it five volt from the bolt five volt? Anyway, um, 
yeah, it's five volt, fifteen turn. I prefer these actual R's, these brush ones, because they're they're not over the top like the Titan twelve turn. It's fast and does itself in. It's too fast. I think fifteen turn with a nice fan on it, which has got lovely sound to it, um, gives it that nice feel. But I'm going to work on something else today. Not till I've done the editing to this video and done a few more. So I've got the one behind me to do now the beamer that's my next move um it's all right it's not bad i i was saying to my, my friends harry after i'd done a bit of investigating i already had 50 pound after my um, paypal so this only cost me i think it was 100 odd so it didn't even cost me no about 80 90 quid so <coughs> I didn't really have to pay much and the best thing about these is that I've seen a few ideas after market stuff and pop-ups I don't want to go down the hop-up just yet I'm in talks with a fella who knows how to hide a dip and I'm in you know I'm trying to come up with ideas all the time to help just give that little bit of difference in the community for the RC world we have people who have 3D machines we have people good with wood people good with metal we've got welders we've even got electricians that are good with programming well my idea might be totally different but i don't want to say much but i've been drawing up some plans and it, it might just work um it's got to be robust it's got to be great but i'm going off on one now so literally you know let build quality is definitely a nine out of ten if some areas could have been made better but that's another program another idea um nice option for Tammy to give you the four wheel steer update without buying the optional kit i believe there are the first edition kits flying around and you don't have the rear wheel drive option they only have the front wheel um and i think that that came with a tune gear mode so where mine didn't you can see how tammy work it they try and balance what goes in and goes out but they also balance the product as well which that's why i love tammy so much um people ask me why i got two hpi sprints well one is used for an actual car as you know for drifting um, car park racing and the other one is for another project so i'm i've got the ideas that i've just got to put them into um, action but i've not been too good and i've had lots done this year so i'm, I'm well behind i mean like the and then off the end of the middle of the year now oh, easy um and then off to the end of the year um if i was going to say what car would you buy next are well, you looking for something totally different you're fed up with the four-wheel drive big engine big motor twin well i don't yeah i say go for this and i've seen some people i don't know where the hell you get them from but they're doing twin motor upgrades for them and I don't want to go down that road, that means I've got to buy another electronic speed controller or take the one out of the HPR which I'm not going to do. Um, this will be going on the, on the um, Thurston Bash and so we'll, we'll take the crawl. I might not take the crawlers, I just want to have a, a bit of fun going on rocks and stuff. Uh, yeah, testing it, but the only thing with actual Thurston is very rocky and that's the only thing we've we've said that we don't like so we might go to west kirby west kirby's better in my opinion it's much better for us because um there's more depth there's more you know once the tie's not coming it should be okay um but no they this truck i would say buy it i wouldn't even think twice if you see it on a deal grab the thing but i do recommend you get the you get the bearings um make sure you've got 36 10 50s and four 830s because literally 830s or 850s the problem was the people who supplied me with the bearings had the old setup which was you only got the single steer not the optional so they sent me out two of the wrong spec he sent me two eight four eight fifties instead of two eight fifties and two ten fifties so weird 
weird one going into but it was actually an error on the print so just be warned even people like to tell me make mistakes um, people ask me what I use this for this is my baby it only runs two things now it runs this and that's it that's all it runs now um, I wouldn't like to downgrade from this I've got this for I might use the third and fourth server one yet so there's a lot of things I can do to this truck but at the moment I just want to get it settled and run in get the gears moving get the suspension moving get everything worn in and then we're going to completely strip it back down again and we're going to actually see what what's been going on in this monocoque chassis because I can't get over it I can't get over it so it just runs that smooth that's me pushing it I'm only pushing it slowly enough it that to me is brilliant that's a yeah God, imagine imagine if Tammy made a nitro one of these I'm like a beast I'm telling you whoops maybe that's the next thing they're working on um but Tammy you've done a good thing releasing this I think it's one of the best especially people like me who always mess around with RCs and you know some people say yeah dick in and out with them well get on with your own life I'm getting on with mine um yeah personally it's one of the best builds I've had since the um, bullhead which I got up to Darren but this one is phenomenal this has got everything I want I've even seen some off-market tires that I've got my eyes on so yeah there's a lot going to be done to this this is not just going to get a bit of an upgrade and that's it this is getting full capuche capiche as you would say it's getting a full one um, but for now I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much.